Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 30 of Europa Universalis 4 as France. Managed to get up to third in the scores, it's not hard as France, the big blue blob, uh, without really getting into all that many wars at the moment, though I am sort of lining up with a view to attack a few people. Now, let us bear in mind at the moment that our leader has just died, so I do need to go ahead and renew a few royal marriages where possible. Let me just have a quick look and... Um, see where we need to do that. Uh, I'm also going to try and get as friendly with the Commonwealth as possible um, because they are, we have an alliance with them just, but they are rivaled with Austria. So that could be very, very useful in a fight. Um, let me go and have a look at my own um, diplomatic relations. Who do we need a royal marriage with? Um, we've just got one with the Commonwealth. I want to try and suck up to them if I can. But we need uh, Brittany, Lorraine, Switzerland, and Portugal. Well, let's do Brittany first. So, Brittany. Oh, no, we still have a royal marriage with them, apparently. Uh, try and get a royal marriage with Portugal. Royal marriage. Um, Switzerland and Lorraine. Uh, so, where's Switzerland? There. Diplomacy. Um, oh, there we go. More words become self-sustaining. That's that thing come. Ah, and here we go. We have a new colonial nation. So we can give it any name that we want, but um, it's chosen that the uh, the French colonial Caribbean is going to be called the Antilles. Let's let it uh, be called the Antilles. There's no reason why not. Um, Switzerland has the wrong government type, so we can't get a royal marriage with them. What about Lorraine? Am I all that bothered about Lorraine? They'll never be my vassal, but they are... They are a friend, I suppose. We could go in and... Uh, no, we still have royal ties. Okay, so royal marriages are good all along the line. So, found an East American colony. That's definitely something that I'd like to do. Incorporate Savoy into the realm. Um, I'd love to do that, actually. Uh, but improving defences in Provence for army tradition. I think we're definitely going to do that. So, let's go into um, Provence. Uh, Provence is the wrong religion. We need to change that. Because it's because it's Protestant. Um, surprised it didn't come up and tell me that I had a missionary that could convert. That's a little bit strange. Uh, send missionaries. Ah, because they don't have enough missionary power because they're suffering from religious zeal. Uh, that's not too much of a problem. There's no one rest there. Let's go ahead and build the uh, star fort anyway, just so that we can complete that mission. That'll be fine. Um, Looks like Brittany are having a little bit of trouble over there. I'll come and help you out, Brittany. Looks like Flanders is going in to get involved with something. I'm not too sure what. Got a lot of people moving around. Anyway, we have managed to... Um, well, a couple of things. Because one that I forgot from the last video and is probably dead. This guy up here on the ship. Um, you need to get off the boat and land over here. Now that they've taken massive attrition, we're going to go and send a colonist there. It's not going to help all that much, but you have landed. We'll take this ship now. We'll move it down and pick somebody up from... I've lost it all. There we go. So this is the uh, Antilles. Has... Um... All right, okay, so... Let's move you over here to go and pick this guy up. This area has become the Antilles now, and it is a colonial nation. Jamaica still hasn't, but at the moment Jamaica isn't actually a city, it's still a colony. Once th this becomes a city, it will join the Antilles because it's part of the same colonial region. But if we actually go and look now at our diplomatic relations, you can see, if we look on there, it's still only showing six of seven because the colonial nations don't actually count towards your diplomatic relations, which is good because you can have loads of them. But if you go and click on the subjects, they will appear here. They have this little wooden hut, that little wooden hut, which tells us that it is our colony. Now, the way they work, you can see how much money that they make. You can see what their opinion is of you. And you can see that they give you um, how much trade they have. And what their trade efficiency is. Now, they also have a thing called Liberty Desire. Now, Liberty Desire is basically how much they want to break free of your control and go off and be their own country. Now, 
what happens is you also have this thing called tariffs. Now, if you increase the tariffs, it basically means that they um, give you more money, but it also increases their liberty desire. If you reduce the tariffs, then it uh, decreases the amount of money you get from them, but at the same time, it will reduce their liberty desire. So you do have to balance this a lot of the time. If any of them get a liberty desire of above 50%, there's a very good chance they could try and revolt. So we can see that... Um, yeah, we can release colonial subjects. We're not going to bother doing that. But that's basically how colonial nations work. Uh, as soon as our ship picks this guy up, we're going to go and try and colonize East Coast USA. Um, not too sure where I would like to start, to be honest. I guess we could go ahead... Oh, we can either lose the stability or gain three inflation. Mm, let's gain the inflation at the moment We can make because our, our inflation rate is going down. Uh, let's just have a look at some of these coastal provinces and see if any of them have got an incredibly high tax base. Yeah, none of them are particularly great. I guess we could go for the uh, Chesapeake area because that should have an important centre of trade at some point. Um, and then we would be able to start attacking some of the natives and that would give us a tax base of four although these areas up here are all nice massachusetts um wampanoag uh Nar narragonest narragon narragon set i don't know that place there connecticut uh quinnipiac manhattan these all have a tax base of four and i think this is going to be a very good place to um set up our next location let's just have a quick look at that um colonial regions they are all part of the same colonial region uh, which is the colonial eastern america so we can grab those and it'll be fine so that's definitely where we're going to start colonizing next that i am decided on uh, let's go ahead and unpause there we should build a few more ships we should build a few more military um buildings as well to increase our manpower navy has arrived we'll sort that out in just a second um training fields right anywhere where we can get 32 men rethel and we're out of money already great um where were we sent sending you down to this mini map is the most useless thing ever right okay so this is still our troop because he was there previously. However, these guys now will start producing their own units. I, I don't control them anymore. They're independent. This is why I don't actually build any buildings here because they are now a separate nation. And as I don't have my diplomats doing anything, let's go and improve relations with them. Um, you are on the boat. The boat is going to go up to... Um, let's just do Manhattan because we can. So what do we want to do with the rest of our diplomats? I guess sucking up to the Commonwealth wouldn't be a terrible idea because they're nice and big and scary and we do want to stay friends with them. So let's go and improve some relations with the Commonwealth. Let's also go in for the time being and improve some relations with Portugal as well. And that might help things out. We can move you out of there now. You have done your job and helped out Brittany. Uh, remind me, when was Brittany 41? So it's going to be a couple of years, but then we will be able to um, integrate Brittany. And uh, we might need to send our diplomat back there to improve relations before we can do that. Uh, that ship has arrived. I don't know why I didn't just click the go to button. That would have been a thousand times easier than the way I did it. Uh, can we just drop you off on Manhattan? No, I'm going to have to do it that way for some strange reason. But you will get to Manhattan. Manhattan, we are going to... Um, Try and colonize you there. Uh, does look like they're quite... They're not actually natives. Oh, they are natives. Okay. Oh, well, we should be... The, the, the natives shouldn't be too bad. You're going to take a little bit of damage. We will go and dock you up here for now. Still working on this one. Did we actually... Oh, we did send the, um, the guy there. He's still traveling there. It does have a mild winter and it's Arctic. So it's really going to be a nasty area to try and colonize. But once I get it, then we will actually have the... Um, we will actually have a colonial nation there. And colonial nations will try and expand on their own. I mean, we can, they, they can go to war with neighbours. I think they can also colonise themselves. I'm not 100% sure on that mechanic. So if anybody's got more knowledge than me, let me know. Can colonial nations actually colonise empty regions? 
Not sure whether or not they can. We can't even see into this area because we don't even have a, uh, a conquistador anymore. We could get one, but we don't desperately need one. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get another manpower building or two where we can. Again, we want to try and pick provinces that will give us the most manpower and potentially ones that are the furthest away from uh, being able to be attacked. Got some more money there. Still can't afford training fields though because they are 77 ducats. So are we going to consider going to war with somebody and who do we want to go to war with? Well, while we're waiting to get some money so we can do something. Um, 100 population in Jamaica, improved defences in Provence, Jamaica's become self-sustaining, a lot of great stuff happening there. Um, achieve religious unity, found an East American colony. Well, we're already doing that. Incorporate Savoy into the realm. Let's do the... What would we get there, actually? Plus plus 5% settler chance and plus 25 global settler increase. That's going to be fantastic. Um, and what do we actually do? At least one province in the 13 colonies is owned by France. Yeah, we should do that. I'm not sure why. We, I mean, has that colonist actually got there yet to Manhattan? No. Every chance when he does, that mission will auto-complete. And he's going to get there in 40-something days. But... In the meantime, let's take that ship and let us go down to Jamaica and we'll go and grab that guy down there. So if we go down to Jamaica, you'll now see that Jamaica is part of the Antilles. And we could go and uh, if we wanted, we could go and grab uh, Tortuga and try and... Um, try and make life a little bit more difficult for the Castilians that are settling over here. So we can get a new technology. And we should, because we are behind the times. Now we're ahead of time, and that gives us extra production efficiency. And we can actually invest in an idea. Exploration ideas. We can get a naval force limit modifier. And we get a permanent CB against primitives. That's going to be very, very useful uh, for us. Do we want the extra diplotech right now? We are technically behind the times. But I don't think we need those. Let's go ahead and finish off that idea group. Because that also gives us plus 30% fort defense, which is really nice. So what am I going to do? Am I going to go and try and colonize these areas over here? There we go. Found an East American colony. That actually worked. We should get another mission here. Royal marriage with Savoy or incorporate Savoy into the realm. Improved defenses in Vermandois. Going to do that one for now. Uh, Vermandois, you are this one? No. Where are you? This is where you see how my, um, geography just fails completely. And my English sometimes. You know, they're not mutually exclusive. Um, okay, I'm going to have to search for it in a second, because I'm just completely blind to it. Uh, where are we? Objectives... Vermandois have a star fort. V E R. This one. Okay, there we go. Um, I could have probably wasted another ten minutes looking for it, but I figured that it was. There's a ser the search function is there for a reason. Figured we might as well just go and use that. Uh, so we know that we definitely wouldn't be able to offer these guys vassalization. The main reason for that is them being part of the empire I mean, we could go and attack them but the fact they're a part of the empire makes that a little bit difficult not impossible bear in mind we do have the commonwealth on our side as an ally at the moment um let us go over here where are we have we arrived in jamaica we have i think at this point in time i'm actually going to try and settle on tortuga or something like that I mean, this um, this province will definitely get wiped out if these guys go to war with them. Uh, let's drop you off in uh, Tortuga. And we will send our free colonist here. And uh, we do get automatic uh, military access and fleet basing rights at our um, colonial nation. So we'll just go and dock there where it's nice and safe. Hopefully we can um, get a few things settled over here before we end up with too much of a problem from 
England and Castile and Portugal. Portugal normally just settle further south. They normally tend to head around the uh, the South American continent. Uh, I'm not going to bother going all the way out here. I mean, technically, these are the Antilles all down here anyway. Um, but I think we'll... Um, we might just grab a couple of these just so we've got these borders against Castile, which will pretty much always give us a colonial CB because we've got neighbouring colonies. And then we'll just concentrate on... I mean, we could get the Bahamas. We might get the Bahamas, actually. Uh, but I really do want to try and grab as much of East Coast USA as possible. And I'm more than willing to uh, so sort of go and fight for my colonial nations. Um, annoyingly... Uh, Britain here, Protestant. We could at this point go and start getting ready to bring them in. Who do I want to stop sucking up with Portugal at this point? Let's bring you back from Portugal. Um, colonial enthusiasm. I'm going to try and use my words there. We do need to try and improve relations. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking, can I just throw a gift at them? I probably could, but I don't really want to have to do that. Um, again, let's keep working on manpower. If we do end up in a war with Austria, manpower is going to be such an important thing for us. We, it, we, it will cost us a lot of manpower to go to war with Austria. They still have a military tech of 12. They're, in actual, they're currently in a war with Castile and the Papal State. Actually, who, who is in that war? Let's get this right. So they are the attacker against Castile in the British conquest of St. Martin. This might be an excellent time, actually, to go and try and attack uh, Savoy. That might be a brilliant time to go and attack Savoy. Because I don't think that uh, Austria would really be able to do all of that much. So, as a result, I'm going to bring some of my units down and get them ready to attack Savoy. And we're just going to try and siege them out as quick as possible. We will need to get a leader. So we'll go ahead and do that. So this is where, we, if it goes wrong anywhere, this is where it's going to go wrong. We need to get a leader. Let us get a... Um, I'm not exploring. I'm just going to grab a general. Like I said, I know... Well, he's not too great. He does have quite a bit of maneuver. Um, as I said, in the New El Dorado expansion, because they've changed the way that explorers and conquistadors work... Yep, yeah, there we go. Colonialism, CB against Castile. Uh, because they've changed the way that explorers and conquistadors work in El Dorado, they now have 20% less pips overall than you would get from a um, general or an admiral. That being said, I don't have the El Dorado expansion and I don't know whether it would still affect it or not. So we will have to keep our eye on that. I think I'm going to bring this guy down south a little bit further so he can respond to anything should we need to. Um, we are going to have to go ahead and bring back a diplomat so we can declare. You're going to take absolutely forever but I suppose that is fine and that war can continue to go on. Um, just double checking everything. We do have three colonists and they all are in use. That is fine. Um, provincial unrest. Independence for Luxembourg. Why hasn't that gone away yet? Yeah, there is provincial unrest there. We could remove this from the HRE. Um, it's mainly because they still have the uh, nationalism. Well, we'll leave you guys in Luxembourg because you were making that provincial unrest go away. Um, unless somebody else gets involved in the war, we should generally be okay. Um, but we'll, we will declare war on Savoy. Uh, we did have a mission to incorporate them into... Well, we didn't take the mission. How long is it going to take to finish that starfall in Vermidor? It's nearly done. So we'll go ahead and take the mission if it is back. Um, incorporate Savoy into the realm. So we'll definitely go and do that. Now, do we need to actually... Uh, right, Savoy doesn't need to exist... And we need to own their three provinces. That is fine. What will we get for We only get five prestige, but it'd be nice to, to grab them anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we are coming up to the 20-minute mark, so I'm tempted to just start the war on the next video. Um, 
Right, what have we got here? We can either gain some inflation for 50 Diplo power or we can gain 10 Diplo power. Don't really want any more inflation. We'll leave that for now. Uh, Alsace can have the military access they desire. Austria still look like they're at war with Castile. So as long as there's wars going on, then that's fine by me. Um, furs will be produced in Inu. That is fine. Right, Austria, are you still at war? Because as long as Austria are at war, then I should be able to take out Savoy without Austria getting involved. It doesn't mean that they won't get involved. They might still do it, but they're busy. And the fact that they're busy will help me out a lot. Bear in mind, my vassals will come in, so uh, Switzerland will actually come in and help me out. Uh, looks like the uh, ungrateful natives of Manhattan are attacking. We should be able to deal with them, although they are quite ferocious. There is a possibility we could lose. No, but we did win. That's fine. That's not too bad. Uh, we're at full manpower, um, so we are going to go ahead and declare war on Savoy, but we're going to do that in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.